Hey there, everybody. I am really excited to um, gush over this real quick. So, this is Ghetto Bird. This is kind of a book review, but it's not a book review because I feel like I'm too um, close to the situation. So, what I mean by that is that this video is about an amazing book of poetry called Monsters in the Mouth by Bunny Wild. Now, um, Bunny, when you see this video, let me know if you want to be acknowledged um, as the writer of this book. Um, meaning your YouTube handle or whatever if you want people to know in the comments say yeah it's okay i'm bunny wild blah 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 because i think people should fucking know but um if you want the an anonymity um that's fine so the reason why um i'm so like tickled about this book is because um this is the first book of poetry that has been put out by somebody who took my Poetic Anarchy class. So, am I biased? Yeah. But what you need to know is that... Um, it, it's funny, because when Bunny first joined the class and everything, she's like... Yeah, I've always wanted to write, but I've never written before. Um, but here are some poems I've been working on. <clears throat> so she sends me some poems. And they're fucking amazing. And I'm like, oh. Like, okay. This is... It, it, it was strange for me because I'm like... Bunny doesn't need help. Like, Bunny's really good. Um, so it was actually kind of tricky trying to figure out how to, um, how to not work with her, but how to like show her things because I feel like Bunny instinctively knows a lot of stuff and, um, it comes out in her writing, especially her early writing. So if you, um, were, if you had picked up the uh, Poetic Anarchy Volume 1 book, it has her poems in there too. Monsters in the Mouth, um, it's a big, meaty, um, raw fucking book of poetry. And um, I was lucky enough to be able to do the cover. Like, I did a painting and... Um, Bunny put it on the cover, so that'll be here somewhere. But um, I'm going to go ahead and read um, the description that Bunny wrote of the poems on um, the Amazon page for it. Monsters in the Mouth speaks with the voices of fear and raw misery. The struggle with mental illness and the absence of self-esteem is vulnerably written. The mouths are filled with dreams, everyday horrors, and sex. Underneath it all is a deep hope that can be found after shedding the skin of the monsters onto the pages. And then to give you an idea of her work, one of the poems is in the description. It's called Eat My Words. I want my words to be eaten alive and howling by someone who understands why I bled them out. I want somebody to chew on what I say from a simple line that I didn't have to pretty up. Take this raw mental meat, gulp it down. I hope it tastes good and fills you up. Honestly, Bunny's stuff is so real. It is so... <clears throat> It's so raw. It a lot of the poems in here are going to be talking about um, like body image, um, 
things, self-esteem things, um, getting older and um, how that kind of wreaks havoc on um, anyone's psyche, but um, a woman in general, I guess. Um, there's a lot of stuff about sex in here too. And I think the thing um, that kind of strikes me and it was one of the things that kind of first like popped out um, in my head when reading bunny stuff is that um, there's a lot of like <clears throat> like sex positive stuff in here but it always sounds like it's coming from a place where um, and not always, I don't want to say it like that, but where it's coming from a place where like deep down, it sounds like, like she knows she's going to be judged for, um, these thoughts and, um, these worries that, uh, she has about it. It's just, it's just... It's refreshing to read someone talk about sex where it's not um, kind of pussyfooted around and um, not shameful, you know? Like, even though you might think by saying this thing, you don't have any problem saying it, but you know that there might be um, negative repercussions on you for saying those things the um the body issue stuff and the aging stuff um just speaks to everyone who's not a fucking teenager you know it's like um the takes on it are really good the worries are real um it's just her stuff is very fucking universal. And because she's so honest with everything, it's like you're like reading poetry from like your best friend or like, um, like you're just having a good talk with um, your closest friend. Like it, it's just, it's so open. Um, and that just, um, part on the sleeve kind of thing is really amazing. The, the horror, um, of some of the things like the fears, the nightmares, um, she goes into great detail of, um, just like really fucking terrifying shit. Um, so it the poems just go all over the place, but, the common through line is, is that they're fucking real and it's very conversational. It feels like you're just chilling with an old friend. Like seriously. Um, I, uh, yeah. So I highly recommend if, I mean, if you have Kindle Unlimited, just go pick it up and look at it, you know, like go through it. And I think you could actually read like probably the first few poems by doing the look inside thing. I just, I highly recommend it. Um, like if you like, I don't even say this about my stuff. Cause I don't know if I could say this, but like, I seriously feel like if you read bunny's poems, like you will, um, feel a closeness to bunny. Like, Oh man, my little buddy, you know, like you, you like will feel this, like, um, sense of closeness. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Monsters in the Mouth, Bunny Wild. It's out on Amazon. I will put a link in the description um, for you to be able to pick it up. It's free if you have Kindle Unlimited. Um, and if you don't, it's pretty cheap. So um, get over there and um, 
show your support. And if Bunny has left anything in the comments um, to reveal um, Bunny to the group, um, give Bunny a big fucking high five and shit because Bunny killed it. Fucking killed it. Killed it. Um, and this is like me... Like, I don't want to sound too um, up the ass here, but um, Bunny is probably um, my favorite living poet. So, like, it's, it's pretty close between Bunny and Holly Day. Um, but, um, I think Bunny has the edge there. Um, I don't think I've read a poem Bunny's done that I've been like, Meh. um, it, it just fires on all cylinders all the time. So with that being said, um, go take a look at it. Um, and Bunny say hi in the bottom in the comments so everyone could um, tell you how awesome you are. Okay. So until next time, everybody see you later.